the Titanic. Today we will be learning about a very famous ocean liner. What do you already know about Titanic? RMS Titanic was a British passenger ocean liner. It was a luxury ship and it was known as a ship of dreams. It set sail on its first and only voyage in April 1912. It was called RMS Titanic because it was a Royal Mail steamer and as well as passengers it carried post. It had a post office on board and carried nearly 4,000 letters and packages. RMS Titanic was thought to be the safest and strongest ship of all time. Finding out about the Titanic in our lesson today, we'll be looking at various types of information to learn about Titanic. You'll look at photographs, paintings, videos and written facts. You'll even hear the story from a lady who was on board the Titanic. Your task will be to make a poster which shows what you've learned about Titanic. Your poster can include drawings, photographs and facts. Make your poster eye-catching and full of information. Please send us a photograph of your work. Here are some newspaper reports. If you look carefully, you will see that they tell us about the fate of the Titanic and what happened in 1912. Here is a video clip. It shows you what it would have been like to be on board Titanic as it began its journey. out from this picture. Can you use these words to describe what is happening? Rescue, liner, sinking, lifeboat. The Titanic was the biggest ship in the world. Some people thought that she was the best ship ever built. She was said to be too strong to sink. She was unsinkable, or so they believed. The Titanic was built in Belfast, a city in Ireland, by the White Star Line Shipping Company. It set sail from Southampton in England on the 10th of April 1912. More passengers boarded the ship in France and then in Queenstown in Ireland. It was on its way to New York. This map shows the Titanic's journey across the Atlantic Ocean, from England to New York. When the passengers began their journey to New York City, it was like a wonderful party on board. Everybody was having loads of fun. They thought they were making history. They were. The Titanic was a floating palace. She was one of the first ships with a pool and she had beautiful gold chandeliers. Because of this, many wealthy people travelled on board the Titanic. They stayed in the upper deck, which was called the first class, while the poorer passengers and the crew stayed below deck in the third class. Good evening, sir.
When it set sail across the Atlantic Ocean, Titanic had 2,224 passengers on board. It only had 16 lifeboats, which could only hold 1,708 people. The White Star Line knew that they should have had more lifeboats, but they didn't want the decks to look too cluttered and spoil the look of the ship. By the 14th of April 1912, Titanic was in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The weather was clear. That night, the stars glistened against the cold, dark sky. Shortly before midnight, a sailor spotted something out in front of the ship. He couldn't really see it, but he knew it could only be one thing, an iceberg. An iceberg is a huge piece, piece of floating ice. It is much bigger beneath the water than it is on top. It can really damage a ship if it crashes into it. Captain Smith was woken up, but it was too late for the Titanic to turn away, and it hit the iceberg. The iceberg ripped a huge hole in the side of the ship, and the lower parts of the ship began to fill with icy water. The nose of the Titanic began to disappear beneath the water. The stern, or the back of the ship, began to rise high into the air. In a few hours the ship would sink. The crew set off flares to let other ships know that it needed help. Sailors on other ships saw the flares but thought they were fireworks set off during a party on the ship, so they sailed on by. The Titanic crew began trying to save people. Some had come out on deck when the ship hit the iceberg, but many were still below. They didn't think that there was anything to worry about. The band began to play music to calm the passengers. The sailors began to put people in the lifeboats. Women and children went first, but there was not enough lifeboats for everybody on board. Also, in the panic of the sinking, some lifeboats were lowered into the water with empty seats. By the time all the lifeboats had been lowered, there were still 1,500 people on board. By 2am, the passengers still on the sinking ship heard a terrible sound. The Titanic was ripping apart. People started to jump off the ship into the icy water. The Titanic had disappeared beneath the Atlantic Ocean by 2.20am on the 15th of April 1912. The Titanic sank two miles to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Most of its passengers and crew died. Captain Smith went down with his ship. The people who were in the lifeboats were rescued by another ship called the Carpathia. Nobody knew where in the Atlantic Ocean the Titanic was. It was not found until 71 years after it sank. Now it is time to hear a true story from someone who was on board the Titanic. Please watch the short animated film that follows. I was with my parents. My father was going to open a business in Winnipeg. People were saying to my mother and father how fortunate they were to get on the Titanic. I was excited because I was going on a wonderful big ship. I had no fear or apprehension or anything. She was very beautiful, luxurious beyond words. It was the first time I'd been on board a ship. Captain Smith was on deck and he was very nice. He had a beard like my own grandfather and he admired a doll I had. On the third night, I was sound asleep. My mother woke me and said, I'm going to dress you. But before she could, my father came back from deck and said, you'd best put this thick coat on. That was all he said. Standing on deck, I couldn't see round the funnel. My father came back and said, the ship has struck an iceberg. 
My father had no difficulty in putting me in my mother in lifeboat, but he made no attempt at getting himself. When we were in the water, we could hear people rushing about on the deck. That's when the panic must have started, when they found there weren't any lifeboats left. I was terrified. I didn't know what a shipwreck would mean or how long it would take, but I was too terrified to do anything but shriek for my father, who I knew we'd left behind. Before she sank, she was a very beautiful ship, stationary on the ocean with all her lights on. It was dreadfully cold, but the sea was the calmest I'd ever seen. The starlit night was the brightest I'd ever seen. I looked back and saw the whole of that tragedy, and I saw that ship break in half. The front part went down and left the stern sticking up in a horrifying fashion. It was enormous. It seemed to stick up in the air for a long time, and then it gradually went down, turning over. And after that, there was the sound of the whole disaster, and that was people drowning. That is something you could never forget. And then the dreadful silence that followed it. It seemed as if the whole world was standing still. It was discovered that my lifeboat was overcrowded, and the officer in charge of the boat decided he would get rid of his load by putting people in other boats. I got separated from my mother and didn't find her till the next day. The next morning, the icebergs were like white sails in the distance, white yachts with the sun on them. They were very beautiful. They were all around us. The crew of the ship that rescued us were very kind and good to us. We were given clothes because I'd only got my night clothes and a blanket around me. I had nightmares from the time it sank until I was 23. And although I wouldn't like to say I'm not frightened of the sea, I lost a lot of the horror. I've never been in anything that was touching the Titanic for beauty. She was lovely. 